everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And today, we are going to be opening the very new, hot off the presses, Barbie Cutie Reveal dolls. Now we're gonna do two in each video, uh, so that the videos don't get too super long, and also because I need content, it's, it's very hard for me to keep up with my mom being really, really sick and all. Um, thank you to all of you for your prayers. We really, really appreciate it. Um, really, it's just a really hard time for our family. Anyway, dolls make me happy, and nothing makes me as happy as a Barbie cutie reveal, except for a really cool Barbie color reveal, but we haven't had, I have an idea for something that I wanna try later, if I can find glitter. Anyway, uh, so there are actually four in this new winter series. So there is a reindeer, an owl, a husky, and a polar bear. So I'm super excited about these. These are going to make great holiday presents. They're $24.99 right now. I would say these are probably the kind of thing that you want to grab now because I don't know, we're still having problems with supply chain and delivery dates. And I don't think this holiday season is gonna be as hard as last year, but you know, you just never know anymore. <laughs> so, uh, and, and by the time these show up in the stores, it's gonna be hard to find them. So uh, I will put the links for Amazon. They are affiliate links. And if you use those links, I will get a little bit of a commission. Thank you so much because that enables me to buy more dolls. Yay. So today we are going to open the owl and what am I doing? The owl and the polar bear. So we're gonna start with the polar bear. So these dolls, if you are not familiar with them, uh, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cool people who buy dolls for kids and themselves. Uh, so these have taken the idea of the Barbie color reveal. So we've got a doll, like a sort of surprise doll and married it to a, 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 a furry mascot costume. And they're super, super cute. So you end up with like a stuffed animal type costume that like any of your Barbies can wear and a really pretty Barbie. And the thing that's super exciting to me about these, this shouldn't be this hard, uh, super excited to me about the Barbies that come with these dolls, uh, well, that these dolls are, uh, is that they're articulated and they're super articulated. So there's a lot of, look, look, you get the little hole in the top where you can feel the fur. Um, so there's a lot, of, like you can do a lot of playing. You've got these fun animal costume, mascot costumes, a doll that's super articulated. Uh, she has another outfit. I'll show you the big surprise. Woo! So this is the polar bear. And the packages, these are cardboard, so easily recyclable. And here she is. Now, these are winter themed. So although I am sweating bullets, sweating when I tell you perspiration dripping down my back, even though it's not even nine o'clock in the morning yet, it has been hot in New Jersey all summer. There has been no no drop in humidity or anything. it's just been nonstop jungle here in New Jersey. Anyway, I'm so tired of being sweaty. So uh, these are winter themed, so think cold. So it's really, really cute because look, in the plush, there's different colored snowflakes. And these are like, um, it feels like an applique to the fur. It doesn't feel like it's embroidered. Um, it's just an effect that they put on the fur. Look at the eyes, little snowflakes in the eyes. I mean, how cute, look at the little cheeks. Those little chilly cheeks is so cute. I mean, this is adorableness, right? Here, just like this. Like if this was just the doll that you got and you're like, oh my gosh, it's like a big stuffed animal polar bear thing with articulated arms that can look like it's running or flying or doing acrobatics or whatever weirdness you want to make it do. It's so cute. And then on their hands, they have uh, these plastic paws and even the feet. The feet are these cute plastic paws, which makes it really fun for displaying them because because of the big plastic paw feet, they can stand up 
on their own. It's really, really cute. Now there is still a surprise element a little bit because they put uh, the outfit and the accessories in these uh, surprise bags. Oh, and I forgot, there is a small water component, which I do need to go upstairs. I will have to take a moment and go upstairs and get the ice water because I forgot about that. Uh, there is a small component that just needs a little bit of ice water. So it's not as much of a potential mess as Barbie color reveal, uh, but it's still really, really fun. Okay, are you ready to meet whoever, whomever, is underneath this little adorable polar bear head? Are we ready? Okay, here we go. Oh! Oh! Ooh, pretty! Oh, now the other thing that I've been really digging about this release is the they are using some really great molds facial molds really digging into the barbie library of facial molds to just give us you know you end up with if you collect these cutie reveal dolls you end up with a really nice library of fully articulated really pretty barbie dolls i mean so you can dress them in your fashionista clothes or whatever you know so it's don't overlook like you're like, well, I don't know. Do I really need a fursuit Barbie? I don't know. $24 Barbie that's almost a made to move. They're lacking just a couple of points of articulation from the made to move. Um, but with some really great classic sculpts and some really fun hair, I, well, I think it's a pretty good deal. So let's take a look. And then she's got this sort of frosty, very wintry hair. Now the hair on these, because it's twisted up into the head, it's always a little, you know, goofy when it comes out. But if you leave them out, you know, if you leave the helmet head off of them uh, and just leave them, it does sort of relax itself. Or you can just, you know, stick it in some warm water and uh, just let it air dry. And it dries pretty nicely. Uh, she's got these cool streaks in her hair. And I love that it's a number of colors. So it's gray, but it's also sort of got this uh, like blue violety, I don't know. And then, and then these black streaks, just a really kind of Arctic icy feel to it in a different way than just going straight up gray or white hair. So let's take off the rest of her suit. So you just pull off the hands and feet like that. Ta -da, ta -da. Super easy. Even I can do it. And let's see. All right. And then this comes off. And then you get these really nice pajama pants for your Barbies. Cause like my son loves to wear these super fuzzy pajama pants like during the winter. I don't like them cause they're too warm for me, but he like absolutely adores them. And so underneath she's got this silver gray metallic undies on, you know, plastic undies. And so you'll see she's articulated at the elbows and at the shoulder and then at the knees. She's not articulated at the waist or hands, but her head is articulated. So if you like to do doll photography, so she's pretty darn posable, I gotta say. Uh, so let me lay her down here. And so you end up with these pieces. I'm gonna show you this, what this does at the end. And look, I mean, just so soft, so soft. And then of course you've got a little head that you know you can put on top of your pencils or you could put the Barbie back in it. I mean, you can do that. You can put other Barbies in it. I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's your toy uh, and, or not, or it's your kids. You could do whatever you want anyway. So, ooh, oh, this is a new thing. So this is her skirt. Look at it. Look at the polar bear screened onto it and it's fur, oops, sorry. It is fur. This is fur. <gasps> so it's just, it's the same, oops, something just fell out of there. I think a little flock fell off. It's the same as the pants, only instead of having uh, screened on snowflakes, it's got screened on polar bears. Okay, that's really cute. I'm digging that. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, didn't you just complain about it being a thousand degrees out and you're drinking hot tea? So there's this theory. It's really, it's an old theory that doesn't hold any water at all. Um, and it comes from the play Thomas a Beckett. And he supposedly said this, which he that supposedly took from like the Greeks, the Romans or some crap like that, that uh, in, in, the, in the summer, 
you should uh, drink warm li liquids and like douse yourself with warm water. And in the winter, you should do, you know, cold and because it helps your body to adapt. I don't do it because of that reason. I do it because I'm addicted to hot tea. So I'm, I'm sitting here in between shots. I've got a fan blowing on my face. The air conditioner is on uh, set to 62. Um, and I'm basically just being weird about the whole thing. Oh, so cute. Do you remember those little flocked bears? They used to be like at checkout lines, especially like at AC Moore. Caden collected them. Of course he did, with no influence from me whatsoever. There was no mommy saying, oh, look at those cute little flocked bears that come in all different colors. Do you want one, sweetie? Mommy never said that. Mommy didn't say that every time she saw them somewhere. That is not what happened. I want to be clear. I did not inspire my child to collect them. No, I didn't. I mean, he wanted them. <gasps> Look at her comb. Oh, wow. They really got very thematic with these. Wow. The previous combs were all pretty boring. And then she's got little, little, a little polar bear ear headband. Oh, how cute. Oh, I love these so much. I'm really, oh, look at these cool snow boots. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they look like astronaut slash snow boots. By the way, if you are looking for something excellent to watch on TV, that's just really different. I highly recommend, I'm gonna dress her while we talk about this, that you, if you have Apple TV, that you watch For All Mankind. Uh, it's an alternate history, but now I'm in the, no, I'm still in the past, yeah. Alternate history about what would happen if America wasn't the first nation to land on the moon. And it's just a really fascinating look at how if a few things went differently in the 60s, uh, late 50s, early 60s, and 60s, and then, you know, once, once the moon landing thing happens, you can start to see the divergence. Just a few things go differently and how different our country ends up being because of it. Uh, and it's just a really good story. I mean, there definitely is that component of it where it's kind of like, wow, these all these things are very different. But then it's also just a really, really interesting story about people and, and the space program and all that stuff. Okay, so are you ready? So this is, we know that this is what the jacket looks like when it's on her as part of her fursuit. But now, you know, her fursona, now I'm gonna show you the inside because the jackets, this is like one of the best things about these, are reversible. Yes, they are. And uh, it's funny because in the other ones, they were in the, in the previous two releases. I think this is the third version of Barbie color of Barbie cutie reveals. I think, I think, I think, I think uh, they were, you know, different colors, especially the previous version where we had the, the sloth and we had the rainbow unicorn. It, of course, everything was super colorful. I mean, this is a polar bear. So obviously it's going to be a very silver and white uh, snowy affair, but um, it's still very cool because wait, I'm just trying to get the sleeve all the way right side out here, or inside out, I guess, as the case may be. Uh, look, it's, it matches the skirt. It's so cute. So let me get this on her. Oh, wow. This is a cool outfit. This is a very cool outfit. This would be like a fun, like if you go to a ski lodge and then you're looking for some apres ski uh, attire, this would be very, very striking. Very striking. You just, you know, don't sit too close to the fire because you'll sweat yourself to death. But, um, or not, I don't know. Okay, wait, I messed up her headband in putting on her jacket. Okay, so here we go. So if you really want to have attitude and you're posing for like a photo shoot, wait, let me get your, get your hand up here. Get, get your hand in your hair. No, you can't do that. No, I'm not that articulated. Okay. Anyway, so now she's like, ah, fungal. But, um, <laughs> I was trying to make her look like I'm posing for a photo shoot out in the snow, but like with my shirt half off in my cool snow boots. Yeah, that's what I was going for there. Yeah, uh, let me put her headband back on. 
Let's get your headband on, girlfriend. And then we're gonna have to go and get the ice water so we can do her makeup. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll do both of their makeups at the end. So there she is. There she is dressed up like a cool polar bear inspired young lady uh, with her little pet polar bear right here. So we'll put you down, you hang out for a second, and now we are going to go and we're gonna open the owl. Again, these are like $24.99. They're available on Amazon. Uh, right now, it looks like in stores, we're still two Barbie cutie reveal seasons ago. <laughs> um, I was at Target and um, yeah, I saw, I think the original release. Um, and I don't see them often at all, actually, when I go out. Uh, I mean, I don't go shopping as much as I would like to right now, but so here we go. So this is the owl. So remember, you know, we're, 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 uh, winter themed here. So this is, I guess, a snowy owl. Oh, what is under your, oh, they're your wings. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. That's unfortunate. I don't know. What do you think? Hmm? Mmm. Not really feeling it. Um, and uh, the owl has black hands and feet and these really funky, shiny uh, pants on that are similar fabric to the wings. <laughs> I'm not liking the owl, I'm so sorry. The nose is mushed. I just, mmm, mmm, thoughts, mm. any ideas? Am I the only one? <laughs> just, anyway, uh, but let's see how awesome she looks underneath here. Mm. There we go. Ooh, oh, oh, another good sculpt. I have a lot of this sculpt, but I like how they went really bold with these brows and the eyeliner. Oh, nice. And she's got purple hair. So she's got like a midnight purple hair. You're like, what is that now? I don't know. I just made it up. Midnight purple, really dark purple. Isn't that violet? I don't know. It feels a little greasy. Do you know how hot it is under there? Okay. Um, let's just, yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep this party moving. We'll take off the hands and feet on this one. Okay, so I don't know. I mean, if you're really into owls or your kid's really into owls and, you know, I'm not a kid. A kid might be like, oh my God, it has wings. Oh my God. You know, I mean, it's different. <laughs> I'm like, mm, yeah. All right. Oh, and I forgot to show you the, uh, the little insert that comes with it that uh, tells you how to do, you know, the water stuff and then shows you the, the, the four dolls that are involved in there. I don't want to give you too much of a look, too much of a sneak peek. I have four of those, you know. Okay, so this is what she looks like with her somewhat greasy hair. <laughs> Again, articulated. Now these pants are pretty cool. I mean, I guess they're supposed to come off, but they're not furry. And I guess that's what's throwing me off. It's the first time that one of them hasn't had a full fur suit on. And it, it, I don't know, the wings and the, kind of threw me off. Just, just, I don't know. Mm. So there you go. So she's got purple undies on. It goes with her purple hair. She's very cool. She's, she's beautiful. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just not feeling it, you know? Mm. Mm. All right, let me see what I got here. This feels like her headband, which will be little owl ears. Mm. Oh, 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 and she came with a choker. Wow, oh. Oh, oh, okay. So she's a Valkyrie, apparently. Um, and she comes with a little choker. There's the little choker. Let's see, this is, oh, these are her boots. So what is so big? Whoa, whoa. Those are some superhero boots right here. And they've got like little fake uh, tassels on the side. Okay, an attempt was made here to do something different. I'm liking it. I like that the, you know, that they really, they went for it. Okay. And so everybody's going to have like a snowflake theme for their little brush and their brush, brush has the little spongy thing over there. So you can do the cold water stuff. And then over here, this should be her pet. And of course her pet is a little 
purple snowy owl. So, so cute. So I guess she's supposed to wear these pants because she didn't come with a skirt. Okay. <laughs> Just figuring it out, folks. I'm gonna put the pants back on. They, 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 they didn't give her a skirt. So, she, but she's got the shiny pants. But I feel like she's just, she's getting cheated a little bit here. I feel like. I don't know. What do you think? Did she get shorted here? Should she have had a skirt? I mean, just because she had the cool pants. I mean, other people had furry pants. I don't know. Just not feeling it. Okay, so she's back in her pants. Now let's put her cool boots on over her pants. Because that, I mean, it'll look cool. It's, it's giving, I mean, it's definitely still giving me spacey vibes. And I think the new episodes of, of For All Mankind come out on Sundays. Uh, I binged it and I didn't realize that I got caught up. And then I was like, wait, it ends like that? That's how season three ends? Are you kidding me? And then I was like, oh no, it doesn't. All right, let's see what's on the inside of her jacket that has the wings. And see now, these are gonna be inside with her when you turn it inside out. I think that's gonna be very bulky and uncomfortable. I'm not liking it. She's not liking it. She's not a big fan. I'm telling you right now. Uh, another show that has nothing to do with space or anything else that I've been, I binged and then got caught up with, um, and it's on Paramount Network, is Evil. A very strange show. Has anyone watched that show? I think between season one and season two, that like the writers and the showrunners all got in a room and were like, look, we thought we were doing this kind of show, but actually we're gonna do this kind of show. <laughs> and like completely changed everything about the show. And uh, I'm not sure which, I think I like the season two cheekiness a little bit more. Uh, I think the first season was taking itself a little too seriously. But anyway, it's a very strange, strange show. And I find myself compelled to keep watching as each new episode comes out. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, and then um, we, re we started rewatching Mad Men. And I find that the older I get, the less patience I have with Mad Men. I'm like, usually... Usually I start getting ticked off and don't want to watch anymore when he... he uh, marries a young girl who was his secretary and you know that whole bizu bizu usually that's where you lose me at bizu bizu i i'm in season one and i'm just like you people are horrible you're all horrible human beings <laughs> just you all suck so i don't know what that is i don't know why i'm losing patience even don draper he's not as sexy to me anymore and i'm like you're just a broken old man all righty so this is what the jacket looks like so it's a really cool galaxy long coat so it's not a jacket it's a longer coat I think it's very cool it's it's like not as bulky in the arms as I felt like it would be because of the wings but I do have to say the wings do stick out a little bit on this side <laughs> she's got a little scarf up there you know when you put your scarf in your sleeve and then you forget that you did that and you go put on your coat and you're like what the heck is there my sleeve and you're like uh it's my scarf I meant to do that um I don't know I don't know. I mean, I'm not feeling it, honestly. Here, let me just put her little thing on. So, uh, yeah, there she is with her little thingies on. Right, I'm gonna go get some ice water so we can finish this up. I'm like really disappointed in the owl. <laughs> let me know in the comments if you're disappointed too. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back and we have ice water. So now let's transform these lovely ladies and their pets. So the way this is supposed to work, so you get, you know, ice water, uh, ice, like ice water, not cold water. Cold water, eh, kind of, ice water, definitely. So what it's going to do is, uh, I believe it's just going to give her some lipstick and we may see some more defined eye makeup. So I am going to dip her comb. Here, let me comb her hair. La -da 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 -da. I mean, it's still, you know, like I said, it needs a little help, but it's okay because that's part of the fun with dolls, right? Okay, now I'm going to dip the spongy part, which is a little bit hard. You've kind of dip the whole comb because of the way this is set up. And then we're going to smear it all over her face like that. Ooh, okay. Eh, I don't feel like we got a lot on the eyes. Anything going on on the eyes? Let's see. Ah, uh, it really just did the lipstick. Now, does they, do they have color change hair? I probably should look at the directions, shouldn't I? You know, guys, it's early in the day. 
and it's been a long couple of weeks. Uh, the color changes only on the face and on the pet. So she's supposed to have, now in previous ones, they had little markings on their, let me just, excuse me. I'm just gonna stick her face in the water. It's a John Crawford maneuver. So you really get peak color here. They don't have any marking on their face. Maybe she's got a little bit of freckles. Uh, her mate, yeah, she's got freckles and a little bit of a smoky eye thing going on when you do the ice water on her. Okay, it's very subtle. And then here's her little friend. So this is her little friend. Oh, hello. Say hello to my little friend. And then eyes are open. Yay! So, so here we go. And we're gonna dip her comb in ice water. Here, stay still for me, sweetie. Thank you. And then we're gonna smoosh it all over her face. There we go. Oh, oh I missed part of her mouth. Uh, oh. Come on, why is that corner of your lip not just... Really, kids, honestly, oh, I'm telling you. Just let your kids shove her in the water. It's much... Now, see, she ended up with a really cool thing on her face. Um, also not much in the way of eye makeup, but she's got like little stars uh, that go with her galaxy theme and her lips are blue-ish. Um, they go with her hair. She looks a little, she looks a little dangerous now. Like her, her grip on reality is not the strongest. I think it's kind of the, the intense smiling with the purple lips. Not loving it. I'm just not loving the owl. I love the doll. I do. Um, I would do different lips. Like if I were a customizer, I would keep her and then I would paint something on her lips so that she wouldn't have these really just, it's just a not, a, it's not a, it, the color's not really working on her. So here you go. Here's our girls. You let me know down in the comments, which one is your favorite? Oh, I forgot. I forgot to dunk the cute little sleepy owl into the water. I'm awake, mommy. <laughs> so you let me know which one you like best between the two of these. Um, I'm, I'm partial to polar bear. This one just wasn't as successful as I want it to be. I think even if I put this choker on her, it's really not going to move. I mean, I'm not going to be like, oh, now everything's so much better. Oh, well, now that I put the choker on her, it all comes together now. Yeah, that's not happening. So... <laughs> Anyway, I still think they're super, super cool. So I'm just being hypercritical because I can. So let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And if you are collecting all of the Barbie Cutie reveals like I am, I'm, I'm just going to have a furry army and I'm very excited about it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again real soon. Bye!